Very happy Tech Tuesday here at Dragon Masters. My name is Dyer Barker. My friends, they call me the Hogman, and this is Project GP. Hey everybody, Nate Frederick of Dragon Masters here with Project GP. This week we are diving into Tech Tuesday, tearing apart some Gorg Tech. Let's jump on in. The price point for this classic bat, as of today, is $60 on Gorg's website before shipping. Just a little disclaimer, this video is not a review. What we are going to be doing today is tearing apart this stick. We're going to look at the construction that is used to make it. So we're gonna go ahead and dive into this bat. Uh, we're gonna start here by what I'm guessing is the easiest way to take it apart. We're gonna have to take off the three star logo of Gorg. If you've ever purchased anything from Gorg before, you'll notice that he puts this on all of his equipment. We are assuming that as we take this off, yep, the tape will come with it. This appears just to be a black cloth tape that is holding down the cover. So our next step, we'll take the cover off and see what we have on the inside. The cover looks to be, let's see if we can flip it inside out and see the stitching on it. Um, I don't know if you guys can see that or not. It does seem to be sing a single stitch that is holding the cover together there. So we can see here, Gorg has used a rope on the handle. I'm not quite sure what type of rope. All right, so I got to the end of the tape here and it looks like he has taken the tape and connected it directly to the rope that is on the handle. Let's take all the rope off the handle now. Now I will say there is a sticky material here that is connecting the rope to the core. All right, so now we're gonna start on the pommel. Uh, that should be, after we get the pommel off, be able to look at and see what the core is going to be. See if you can get a good look on that pommel here. It does look like a beveled uh, foam of some kind with a with tape that is connecting it to the core. Holy cow. I don't know what that material is. Just come across a material and I'm not quite sure what it is. It doesn't feel like the cloth tape, but it's underneath the tape here. There we go. <laughs> All right. All right, so now we're back to this pommel. What it looks like is a beveled six to 10 pound, maybe, foam density pommel. We're gonna go ahead and pull this foam apart. We think that there might be two different types of foam here. We'll see. So it looks like the pommel is actually made of three pieces of foam. There's this foam here that's the beveled, and then a puck of a denser foam and then a third foam that goes on the top on the cap. So we've torn this pommel apart. There are three different layers of foam. This first part is beveled, and this is what was connected to the sword. You then had this puck that was on top of it, and this one does not have any holes in it, so that's where your core would stop. And then there was a third layer of foam that would go on top of it, making your pommel three layers. Now, we get to taking the foam off the sword. So, just took the first layer of tape off. It looks like the tape is using a vertical style. It's not spiral wrapped, it is vertical. And it looks like the tape goes up all the way around and down the other side. All right, so what we have learned so far the foam does appear to be glued or affixed somehow to the core. Um, we have taken all of the tape off and this foam is not budging. We also have noticed that on the top there is a cap up here. We're going to go ahead and take that cap off and see what's on the inside. Um. 
this was the cap that was on top. It looks like this foam is a squishier foam that is a different density than the foam that is actually on the stick. And when we opened it up here, you could see that there is a cap that would go above the core. And if we turn it around, you can see that plug right there. That seems to be a denser foam than either the foam that is on the sword or on the cap. A good thing to point out here, as I'm cutting this foam off, it does seem like there is a seam in the foam on this side. Um, it is a different color than the other foam. It looks to be glued or adhered in some way. This bat is made using four layers of foam that have been routed out to fit the core. There is also a fifth layer of two pound Velara foam that wraps around all the other four layers. All right, so I just took out this plug that was in the tip of the core. It had the stab tip on top of this plug. So now we have all the foam taken off. We've got the stab tip off, we've got the pommel off. We just cleaned up the handle and I found something pretty interesting. Let me show you. So we've taken all of the tape off and revealed a lag bolt. And there my friends is a gourd bat. We want to thank you so much for joining us for Tech Tuesday here with Project GP. My name is Nate Frederick with Dragon Masters. Thank you for joining us.